So now that you have already completed the entire boundary masterclass, here is a very important note on boundaries which I want to give you as a gift. So I would have wanted to give this to my younger version and I want to share this with you. So our soul tends to expand with things that gives it joy and it tends to contract with things that steals energy, drains energy. We in our life get to make many decisions where we can say yes at some places and no at some places. And if we are in our habit energy, we usually say our yeses and nos without a real authentic inner check-in. So if we keep on saying yes outside but no to ourselves, meaning our if our yes to the world and its demands comes at the cost of our inner well-being, then there are two things that happen. So these are the consequences when we don't listen to our inner sensations of discomfort. So what are the two consequences? One is sadness. So we would have these unexplainable heaviness, sadness, existential sadness, feeling like there's no meaning into life. There's no purpose into life. You would not have enough emotional energy or enthusiasm. You would not feel inspiration to live life in a fully embodied, happy way because the soul is communicating through this sense of sadness. So now this sadness might not be based on any experience or event. It's a general kind of sadness that you might feel if you're not listening to your inner sense of yes and no. If you're not living life inside out. Now the second consequence of not listening to our inner communication language of boundaries is sickness. So this is on the level of the body that our body might start giving us symptoms, back pain, neck pain, migraines. All of these are examples of body constricting and holding stress. And when does our body hold stress? when the balance between rest and activity is not there. Balance between thinking and relaxation is not there. So sickness, physical symptoms, sadness, emotional symptoms are two very important indications that you have to now pause and listen to yourself. Otherwise, the consequences can be very, very difficult for your overall well-being on an emotional, spiritual, etc, etc levels. So think about it. One of the final questions of check-ins that you can think about is where do you need to pause and replenish yourself? Is it on the emotional level? Is it on the physical level? Is it on the social level? Is it on the level of the finances? Where do you need to take care of yourself more, nurture yourself more, rest and recharge yourself more? So this was my final bonus tip to you and I hope that you would keep it in your heart and take care of yourself because when you honor your boundaries, you come into the world as a fully enabled, empowered individual and you can then spark your joy much, much better. And that's what we need. So holding your boundaries does not mean being selfish, rude, aggressive. It means being honest with what is your limitations, what are your needs, what is your capacity and what would truly honor your inner soul's journey. And with that, you can really contribute to the rest of the world.